Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Cordant, we're back for more Pillars of Eternity with the Triple Crown difficulty settings. So at the end of the last episode I mentioned I was gonna clean up my inventory, as well as my stash, and I did just that before starting this episode. And there was a lot of redundant stuff and items that I never ever use, so all of those I just sent the stash, and this makes it so that we have a lot more space to do whatever we want while still having our consumables, our foods and some of the items that maybe I might swap in and out here and there. Uh, changes I also made. I went back to He Carries Many Scars because I think it's just overall better than this one. Uh, and by overall I mean it's passively better. <clears throat> I never use Overwhelming Wave, I never use Dancing Bolts, I always forget about this. And he's pretty much just receiving a one move speed penalty for no reason. So why not just use the better piece of armor? Uh, other things I swapped. I don't think I swapped anything else. Ah, I swapped the Grimoires. So this is the one I was using. And this is the one I'm going to use now. Which is Alot's Grimoire. Uh, I swapped some things around over here. So, for example, in level 2, over here I had Merciless Gaze as well as Fetid Caress. Uh, this one I have per encounter already, and it lasts 63 seconds, so it should last for the entire fight. Or at least for the portion of the fight where this would be relevant. And Fetid Caress, the range is kind of short, it's against Fortitude, and I, I never ever use it. So I just swapped it for something else in this case. I'm swapping it for a bulwark against the elements. If I find myself fighting against elemental types, I can get some damage reduction over there. And I also have mirrored image, which gives me some extra deflection for 84 seconds. So just some more defenses. Level 3 is the same, level 4 is the same. Level 5, I did swap something around. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, it's in test, let's say. Because I actually like this one, Archimedes Wondrous Torment. On a foe target, it gives him a penalty of 10 resolve, intellect and perception only for 14 seconds. <clears throat> so it's kind of low. But and this is useful if you're trying to combine this with something like, for example, a petrification or some kind of mind affecting spell. You reduce the enemy's defenses and then you hit them with the debuff or with the disable. So what's really good about this is it's 15 meter range and the effect is quite good and the bad is it's single target and it doesn't last very long. So, oh wait, creating two less powerful versions of the effect that jump to nearby enemies. I didn't know this. Okay, well, cool. Uh, this is mostly for, you know, big boss fights where removing their defenses is going to be the best thing you can do before hitting them with stuff like a petrification or some kind of disable. Uh, I am losing out Wall of Force. I like everything else that I have here. I'm loving Call to Slumber. I like the Innervating Terror, even though I don't use it very often. I think this is a good effect. Although, now that I look at it, Maybe the wall is better than the... Eh, screw it. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it like this. If I find that I'm not using the Terror or the Wondrous Torment, I might go back to the Wall of Force. Uh, level 7 is the same, level 8 is the same, because I don't even have any more spells. So, that's all we did. I'm gonna store this Grimoire, because I'm not using it. And... Uh, yeah, I think that's all that I swapped. So, let's continue. Of course. We are out of Kednua. We came well. here to pick up this helmet, the crossed patch for my friend Cordant, our tiny mustache man, even though he doesn't have a mustache here, for 10% extra flank damage. Oh, I do know, there was something else that I swapped, which is something that I usually forget, <laughs> which is kind of annoying. Um, but... Uh, so I swapped the boots because I was using Cat's Whisper, which doesn't really make sense. And I also swapped back to the Rabbit Fur Gloves, instead of having the Archer's Gloves. 
And the reason for it is that I don't think there's much of a difference between one or the other. I mean, there is. This one... Mm, this one always works. This one not so much. The reason why I did the swap, but now that I'm thinking of it, I'm going to swap it again. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Uh, is that this one works for everybody. Like, for example, even for Aloth, it would work. Or the Grieving Mother. But... Uh, 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 sorry. And crit is mostly something that my rogue is going to be doing. But I think I'm just going to go back to this one because it, it just works passively. I think it's I think it's the better choice for me right now. Uh, if I ever want to remove this from the grieving mother, then I can just swap it for those. Hey. Okay. Last thing the deer would need is so another. that's done. We're going to go back to the white march, and this time we're going to be going into Durgan's battery <clears throat> because it's the only area that we have left. There you go. We have completed Russetwood, we have completed Longwatch Falls. Uh, I received the quest, which is the, fisher the Fisherman's Penance, which I have no idea how to do, because there's no description. It just says... Let me see here. It just says this. I met Grinda, the head fisherman of Stalwart. He's a gruff fellow, but he seems to take a lot of pride in his role. I'm guessing that sometime, somewhere, this is gonna, you know, fill out. Hey. But for right now, there's not much I can do. And... Ah, I wanna go into this cavern here. I'm not sure if I've gone to this cavern yet, because I thought it was a different cavern. Let me just quickly see this. Because the, the actual cavern that I'm afraid of is in Longwatch Falls, not in Durgan's Battery. Oh, it's the same one. Okay, we, we've been here before. Okay. So we can just leave. So, it's time to go into the heart of the main quest of, of this area. Which is Durgan's Battery. It is a place that I've only scouted around. I have not actually gone up the steps yet. And this is where I believe most of our main quest takes place. Nice and quiet. Oh. That caravan must have had a half ton of steel. Coinmaster Zoltan's finally getting his way. For now, the other commandants will have his head. Only if they don't tear each other to pieces first. I heard Maroon and Exandru. Shh. Last thing I want is to get on Maroon's bad side. Fine, just say the words then. I'm getting hoarse. The words? Is there a password to go in? I should Maybe. Be quiet as a calm sea. Which is not, not very. very quiet. Yes, we know, Kana, we know. I'm guessing there's a password to enter. I feel the stirring of souls, the heat of their anger. We are not safe here. Did you expect to be safe here? I certainly didn't. Do I already know the password? Hmm. An anvil and a wall. Though the wind and the ice have pried long, jagged cracks in the walls, the door feels as solid and as cold as a glacier. Gilded panels are arranged in columns along the doors. Though most depict scenes from daily life, dwarves chiseling at tunnel walls, hauling minecarts or feasting at long tables, one pane at eye level catches your attention. It's a relief showing a crenellated wall and, above it, an indentation in the shape of an anvil. Oh, I have the anvil tile already? Ah, man, I forgot. <laughs> I must have picked it up somewhere. Maybe the matron mother gave it to me. Examine the relief. Peering closer, you notice that the anvil-shaped impression is strangely dull and smooth, as if it hasn't been exposed to the elements for long. Judging by the depth of the impression, you suspect that it's a socket for a tile or relief of some kind. Furthermore, you see well-worn grooves alongside the anvil socket. Okay, let's place the anvil tile in the relief. There we go. The anvil-shaped tile fits perfectly in the impression. 
You feel a warm thrum in your fingertips as you snap it into place. We have lost the battery relief tile. Leave it for now. No, open it. Ah, okay. So push the door. Even with all your weight behind it, it doesn't budge. Huh. Examine the relief. This panel isn't as bright or detailed as the others, but it's a masterwork of precision. Every ridge and groove is straight and even. In fact, you notice well-worn grooves running alongside the anvil pane. The relief is pitted from centuries of exposure, yet the metal feels warmish to your hands. What? But I placed the tile, and this one is already in. The hell? Renegill told me that Durgan's battery has been sealed shut since its original owners vanished over 200 years ago. Stalwart has called many other adventuring companies to the area, but none have breached the fortress. My task is more complicated than it seemed, but Renegill and her son gave me a couple of leads. They suggested I speak with Galvin. Ah. Ah. Okay. So maybe I have to go to Galvino first. Okay. I actually thought. I might have just been re misremembering. I thought that Galvino was an optional area. Oh well. I still have my grieving mother using Stormcaller. Because I've been kind of... Whoops. Hey. Kind of liking the effect. Dude, what the hell? I've already why, killed everything why over here. Why are... Why are there enemies here? I don't understand it. Did I skip these or something? There's a bunch of lava feth. Uh, let's slow this down. Sap that. Prone this. Shoot that. Shoot that. Debuff that. Buff yourself. There's quite a bit of fish people here. Okay. 65 focus points, perfection, go for the amplified wave. You are gonna toss out the shadow flame because that's what we do now. Okay, okay. so everything is paralyzed pretty much. <laughs> Let's go for some books. It can be over there. And then shoot. And I think you can just try to level this up a little bit. Wait, did I paralyze? Oh no, it's um. Never mind. It was uh, a dart. Let's get some accuracy. You can work on that, and you finish off the near dead ones. That's it. You died. Okay, back up. Shoot that. Uh, let's go kill this one. That's it. I'm wondering if if charge kills also count for this. Maybe. Okay, so badly injured, let's go for him. Uh, you can shoot this one. Please do not be annoying. With their just... Okay, I don't think I'm going to bother with this. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna kill them. So shoot there, sap there, shoot there. Okay, he's dead. This guy is confused because he critted it there. Either is gonna fight that one who's near death, and we're gonna finish off the, the fish person there. My mind feels sharpest. Okay, he's also near death, so never mind. Oh come on, man! Four damage, charge here. He's immune to. Ah! He's immune to blunt damage. I forgot. Oh, it actually triggered the uh, triggered immunity. Cool. Okay, this one is barely injured. So let's just kill it. Disintegration. Shoot. Shoot. So much. 
and you can swap back to this. Hey. I don't know how these enemies... Yeah, they respawn for sure. Maybe this was a bounty area and they spawn after you kill the bounty. That's what I'm guessing here. Okay, let's go to Galvino's place. Now, Galvino's place, I think I remember it being a little bit annoying. I think there's some very resilient enemies and there's also a lot of traps. That's what I remember. Let's see if I'm right. <clears throat> Keeping oh. an eye out. I'm partially right. It's finished. I also know that this isn't all there is to see. It's finished. Yeah, there's a trapdoor right here. This hey. map depicts the peak of the mountain with markers denoting altitude. Okay. I guess Durgan's battery will have to wait until we clear this out. Yeah, I I, th I think this area is a little bit annoying. I remember it giving me some grief. <laughs> Difficulty 10. Yeah, because I think these concerts here, I think they're made of metal. And these are flesh. There, there's... I think they're just very, very tough. But at the same time, we have beautiful choke points here, so we're gonna use them. Okay, so Eder has revealed himself. I'm just gonna do my buffing routine. How may I help? Wait, has the... F okay, the fight has started, okay. Uh, let's get a vigorous defense here. Let's buff. Actually, let's get a little bit closer because we're too far away. This should be good. So get that. Get this. And this. And this. I think these are vessels. Oh, wait, they're vessels. Hmm. I'm gonna see if I can farm some of this. We're gonna sap the big guy. <clears throat> You're gonna shoot the little guy. You shoot the little guy, and that's kind of it. How bad? He sapped. Aloth has done his thing. Let's go for the chill fog over here. Okay. Are these guys just gonna keep shooting? That's a little bit annoying. This is a touch of rot, I believe, which deals. I'm gonna say corrode damage. I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for the amplified wave here. I'm gonna go also for a shadow flame here, which should hit everybody in the area. Oh, not that one. Sad. Uh, so now book and book and shoot. Uh, you are gonna go for some phantom foes on this guy. Okay, we have it. Let's debuff over there. Yeah, they just keep on tossing spells at there. Uh, the chill fog is gonna be annoying here. I'm just gonna charge in, I think. And you are going to work on this guy. Shoot. Okay, good. So you can fight there. Knock him down. Okay, this is not being as annoying as I remembered. So I think we're kind of fine. Shoot. Okay, let's get some accuracy here. You guys can kind of move in. Shoot that guy. Okay, he's near death, so stop shooting him, maybe. You shoot there and you shoot there. Uh, can I finish him off? Hey. Okay, good. Ooh. Activate destroys vessel. Man, the effect is really cool. 
The effect is really cool. Uh, let me see if I can paralyze that guy. And you shoot him just once more. Bless you. Paralyzed. Badly injured. Stop shooting. Shoot once more only. Okay, 56 damage. Not that much. Much for you. Come on, kill. Five damage, dude, really. Ten damage. I think deep wounds is gonna kill him. Okay, good. Oh, good. Okay, nice, nice. So I've killed two enemies with this. Three, three vessels. Okay, cool. Hey. We have some more to go. And what does the flame reveal? Let's check for traps. It's finished. The difficulty. The difficulty of the traps is being okay. These crates hold innumerable discarded mechanical hinges, face plates, and limbs. A gelatinous green film has congealed along the bottom of this shattered machine. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go here first. Hey, hey. Actually, wait. What is it? I gotta check for traps before going in. Uh, oh, I remember these. They blow up. Yeah, I think they blow up. And they don't even attack. I think they just literally blow up. But I also think they are very vulnerable to lightning damage. Let's back up a bit here. And the DPS can stay over here. I'm gonna put a repulsing seal there. Lavaru beyond seek. Okay. So let's begin. Okay, he's blinded. Yeah, this is the anime, the, the symbol for self-destruct or something like that. They are vessels. I'm not sure if if them blowing up counts as killing them. So much. Okay. Eh, not a very good sap. Shoot, woman. Much for you. That's it. My mind feels okay, good. Why isn't this one moving? And they do that weird sound. Why isn't she coming close? My mind feels sharp. I don't know. Hey. <laughs> Strange. I wonder if. No, I have no clue. I don't know why she didn't come in. Okay, we have unstable concerts, we have burning flash concerts, and we have iron concerts. They're all vessels. Okay, four enemies. A hidden object was found. Where? Okay, maybe I'll see it after these are dead. Uh, let me see if I can... I would like to... Jesus. I would like to bring them into the doorway, but I think it's gonna bug them out, so let's just... Help me! Help me, sir! Help! What? Okay. Maybe I can back up. Yeah, I think I... Oh, there's more people coming in, so it's a good thing I backed up. Guys, do not get stuck now, please. Hey there, hold the line. Okay, good. Buff. We're gonna buff as usual. Okay. The grieving mother goes there, you go there, you go shoot. You are gonna knock this guy down. I'm gonna sap this burning flash content. I don't know what it does, so I'm kinda scared. This corrode is annoying though. Let's blind him. I don't know what he does. Okay. So we're gonna go for the chill fog over there. Well. Perfect. And I'm just gonna toss out some books. And then shoot. Uh, I kinda wanna swap for my redeemer, but I'm afraid I'll take too much damage. Let's see. They die rather quickly. I have an amplified wave. 
Let's use it. Let's actually swap and see how it goes. Badly, badly. Okay. Let's try and kill this one. This one already died. You shoot that. You shoot that. You stop shooting because you AoE. You shoot that. Oh, what? No, it there killed him. Okay, cool. This guy died already. I'm gonna come back uh, to force them to walk over the, um, the chill fog rather than it there. So come on. Come on. You can't see me, dude. <laughs> Are you guys coming or what? No, they backed away. Well, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Oh man, this is amazing. Dude. Oh, not this. Oh, it's a... Okay, 25% chance. That's not actually bad. This just says 30 raw damage, but I think it just straight up kills them. Or, oh, maybe it deals 30 raw damage to non-vessel targets? I wonder. Okay, so five more enemies. Wait, there was two more. That one? Come here, bitch. Ow. Go with there. Okay. Let, let's bring the backup in in case it's necessary. Stop it, bitches. Okay, I'm actually gonna sap this one. What is And we can hurt him a bit. Good. They deal a lot of freeze damage. So much for you. Badly injured. Okay, you stop shooting. Uh, can you paralyze him? Back off. Come on, this 25% chance is being very low. Thank you. It's a cool weapon against these enemies, I gotta say. All right then. But I am taking some damage in the process of leveling this up. But it's mostly fine. Okay, so something was saying, help me, help me, please. Viscous green liquid seeps from a crack in this glass tank. It exudes a strong chemical odor that is almost painful to inhale. There's a big trap over there. And I want more. Oh. I want more vessels. Oh. Subject roster. This paper contains a loose list of apparent person personages personages personas. Hmm. Separated by dates. Sorry. Uh, God and Dag. Long Watch Falls. Bandit. Mac. Something something in Prima. Some smuggler. Foltzdag, murderer, nice hair, I know this name. Ritlingsdag, idiot who tried to knife me. Under the list is a note in a different hand. Diverus, devil, just give me numbers. Okay. I'll take, I don't know what it is. But I'll take it. There's an iron construct. Well, there's something okay. ahead. Okay. Hey. Okay, he couldn't spot me. I think he's, it's just a patrol. I'm gonna hey. fight him one on one with it there. Come on. Hey. Oh, come on. Oh, help, I'm trapped here. Alright. So let's charge him. Let's knock him down. Quickly. God damn it. Uh. Use vigorous defense. Actually, let's back away from this. Oh, it okay. I, I thought it was like a cloud effect, but it's not. Let's paralyze this enemy. Oh, 
Paralyzed for 10 seconds. Let's see if we can proc our 25. Yeah, buddy. Two more. Of course. And we got it. Okay, let's not move too far up they without checking for traps. Me. Like that one. It's finished. And I will be going there, just not yet. I want to see what else we have in here. This looks like trouble. Well, one iron construct. A lot of iron constructs. Hey. Um. I think I can pull them to the door, or maybe it's just too far away. Of course. Let's see. Hey. It it might bug them out, but All I want right, to I want to level up my weapon, and this isn't a. This isn't a problematic fight anyway. <laughs> You're missing all your spells, bitches. <laughs> Boots of speed OP. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, so he's kind of backing off. It's whatever. Uh, paralyze him. Oh, dead already. Go for him. Oh, no. No, no. No, 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 no. Shadow Flame, there, quickly. Debuff, quickly. Shoot, quickly. <laughs> How may I help? Okay, so we have <clears throat> eight seconds to deal with this, which is not a lot. We're gonna toss out some books and then start shooting. Uh, you shoot that as well. I want to work my way up to an amplified wave to kill them all at once. That's my plan. Okay, they, they die rather quickly. Okay, I have the amplified wave regardless. So hit that, hit that. Buff us up. You shoot that. Okay. Sap that. And shoot that. And a loth, you can shoot that one. So, so he's taken care of. Okay, cool. Just hang back. Let's paralyze this one. Oops. Paralyze this one and then paralyze that one. I think that. No! Don't shoot. Okay, good. I think there might actually be a way to create shortcuts. Nice. Okay, leveled up. Oh no. A f grants holy power, three per rest, and there's a 5% chance to cast Pillar of Faith on hit or critical hit. This is quite cool. Man, this is a really nice weapon. Uh, the sword passed to a warrior of the twice split arrows in honor of his bravery and skill during a ritual blood hunt. This was a moment of great pride for the tribe, typically regarded as least among the six. It was also a time of shifting borders and changing relations between Deerwood and Erlan Fath. Bolstered by the newfound prestige and eager to seize more, the Riau of the twice split arrows declared that their younger hunter should lead a series of raids on slave holding estates. The first few were successful, but when the raiders set their sights on a village run by a guild of coopers, they were quickly overwhelmed. The hunter was killed and his sword was lost. Be revived during combat five times to unlock the next level. Uh... I... I... Th mm. I'm gonna have to think if there's a way that I can do this safely. Because if it needs to be in combat, I think that means that I can't just friendly fire him down and then get him get him back up. And I I don't want it there to go down during fights for obvious reasons. 
Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> we'll see. It's kind of a shame because I am liking this weapon. Although I won't really be hey. using it, you know, because most of the time I'm going to be tanking. And you can see the difference between my normal setup and using the two-handed sword. My health is already almost halfway. And, you know, typically that does not happen. Okay, we have a bunch of iron concerts. I'm actually going to do something here which I found to be quite effective. Which is just running around with my boots of speed to negate the noxious bursts. Damn it. Yep. Damn, machine, will you repeat all I say? Yeah, I did notice it was kind of speaking or something. Okay. Let's buff up with some speed and some accuracy. Buff with that and this and this. You can start shooting, you can start shooting, and you can start shooting. <laughs> Not dumb. Aloth is in action. Let's put out the chill fog, I think, over here. Blind, blind, blind. Okay, not hitting it there. Cool. Let's toss out some books. And the raw damage here is most likely going to kill them all. Uh, we're going to go for an amplified wave as well. And this fight is done. Yep. Shoot there, shoot there. They are vessels, so this is gonna hurt them. And done. Of course. So this one is an iron concept, but he's shooting from afar. He's not like the rest. You three go shoot. I think they can shoot from beyond the chill pod. Okay. Good. I think they're immune to stun. It keeps saying immune. And I think the only thing that can happen there is um, the stun. I shall be discreet. Oh no, keep it no stealth. I think this I think there's danger with one of these interactions here. Oh. You guys just stop. Difficulty 13. Wait, 13? Oh, I do have 13. Okay. Tufts of hair are still stuck to the metal slabs, uh, slats of this helmet. You spy dark smudges along the edges of the manacles. Spark crawl over the wires and plates of this machine, illuminating the innards with each burst of light. And then there's levers. This opens that. You hear a short series of clicks from around the corner. Hmm. Subject, Belsir. She has outdone herself with this one, Baleseed. A common robber with some natural talent for cipher abilities. It has gone to his head. The Bazo believes he is the next Antonino, I think. In any case, the world would be well rid of him. Still, he has yielded promising results. His mind is almost perfectly intact. I might even have been able to determine whether there is merit in these delusions about his soul lineage. But I made the foolish mistake of leaving the man's pistol on my work table. His essence is bound to the weapon, rather than the body I undertook to build for him. Even bodiless, this fool seeks to trouble me. I have sealed him within one of the tanks. I will have to proof the machines against the free-roaming experiments while I think of a solution. Until then, I suppose I must endure the company while I work. Okay. And this is just talking about the dozens. So I can, I can speak to this. Hey. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take some precautions here. You guys stay there. You hear a faint, really voice singing tune tunelessly. I think I have to press this. I think I'm gonna free something dangerous. Yep. 
<laughs> so Bale Seed is a spirit. I don't think I can knock down spirits, but we're gonna try. And let's move up here. He's casting uh, a cone of cold. So go over there. Okay. So I want a cone of cold to hit here, not my party. Vigorous defense and knockdown. You can shoot. You can buff and shoot. I'm going to sap. She is going to shoot. And you are just going to buff us up. Once we get in range, I mean. I am free, Galvino. I will, I will hit your heart, old man. Yeah, now you won't. Okay, do this, and then that, and then this. Oh, he... Okay, he blinked. He stunned for six seconds because of my sap. Man, sap has become one of my favorite abilities in the game, honestly. Very, very good. This guy? Okay, I was gonna say he's very tough, but not really. Where are you going? He's going for my rogue. What? And he still hasn't cast anything. Sometimes I think it there bugs out, honestly. Yeah, he is disengaging. You bitch. Don't you dare. Silent Scream. Debuff and then hit him with this. I mean, he moves slowly. And I hit him with... Yeah, 114 damage with my Lash. Spirit Residue. Oh, Fell Stroke. What's this? A unique pistol. It's fine. Grants ambushing. Oh, damn. 25% extra damage. Plus 2 to stealth. This is, a, this is a good weapon. Dude. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Adventurers from all over Eora go to the Living Lands in search of fame and fortune. Antonino went to rob them. He had earned a reputation as a cunning thief in Biagepe, and but a reputation is the last thing a cunning thief needs. So he left Biagepe and indeed the Velian Republics for fresh opportunities in the Living Lands, taking with him little more than his coin purse and a fresh change of small clothes. Unfortunately, Antonino soon learned that the hardened treasure hunters of the Living Lands were little like the plump merchants of the Republics. Within a few weeks, he'd exhausted his meager supplies and had heard nothing for his suffering. Desperate, he stumbled across a rough-looking pair from the Deadfire Archipelago and begged to share their fire. They agreed too easily. When the bandit made their move, Antonino was ready. He snatched the pistol from one and fired on the other. With the first attacker advancing, he pulled the trigger again, only to hear a dull thud. While his assailant laughed, Antonino pulled back and struck the man's bald head with a pistol. The bandit collapsed, dead, instantly. Antonino eventually became a successful and feared robber, and the subject of many campfire tales. Even as his fortunes increased, he kept the stolen pistol, a sturdy piece of case-hardened metal that served him through, throughout his career. Yeah, man, this is a good weapon, I think. This ambushing, stacking with the enchantment of, you know, fine, exceptional, yada, yada, yada. This is very good. Cool pistol. Very cool pistol. Let's keep it there. Hey. Okay. I'll see what I can find. And we open this up. Let's see. Or actually, this looks more like a secret area of sorts. So let's go over here first and check out the guy that's, in, that's trapped there. He might have some kind of quest for the rest of this dungeon. And I want to pick up the quest before proceeding any further. There's also that. I'll see it done. It's finished. A broken construct. Hey. Okay, you go talk to him in case he explodes on my face. Ha! Your money or your life, friend! A tinny voice rises from within the chest of this headless machine. From time to time, a burst of spark accompanies the, the rattling of his innards. Excuse me? Get a little lost, did we? There's a toll on these roads. 500 copper or we'll have a new set of nostrils to breathe out of. <laughs> 
The constructs arm twitched spasmodically as it's at its sides. But you're a construct. What? Is that some kind of insult? I'll show you a concept if you don't hand over your money. A faint, ominous glow emerges from within the creature's chassis. Just look at yourself, man. You're a broken machine. You... You use some very peculiar insults, I have to say. Even so, you'll regret those words. I can't have people saying I've gone soft, can I? The concert suddenly lists sideways, arms akimbo. Uh... That... That's odd. I swear I had my knife. I've always been very good with knives. Her, oh, it's a she. Her voice takes on an edge of panic. Where are my hands? I don't... Where am I? What's happening? There is a sudden harsh metallic squeal and the concert pulses with a fiery light as it lurches toward you. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's like trying to blow itself up. Let's sap it and kill it. Yeah, it's trying to self-destruct. So oh, this one runs quickly. For you. Uh, stunned for 8 seconds, so yeah, it's dead. There we go. Hey. I see oh, something. a hidden compartment. And some mushrooms? Blood moss. Echoing misery. Grants ray of pain when hit by a critical hit, one per encounter. Oh, it's the one from my cipher. This one actually isn't bad. But I'm guessing it grants it at the person that did the critical hit. So it can either be very good or it can be kind of whatever. 15 defense when disengaging, don't really care. These boots were originally designed and made to punish runaway slaves. The lord who commissioned them would, have, would force attempted runaways to wear them for a week straight, waking and sleeping. The soles were studded with pebbles and shards that ground against the wearer's feet, while the leather chafed swords into his heels. By the end of a week, most who wore the boots could barely walk. Yet, the slaves in this manner rose up and summoned the effigy. Once the effigy had completed its bloody work, the slaves discovered an unexpected boon. The boots that had once been a punishment had been transformed into something comfortable and, likely, valuable. The surviving slaves argued over the boots, and when words turned to blows, the daughter of the man who'd become the effigy grabbed them and ran. She never looked back. Okay. Kinda weird, but I can... I'm not gonna use them, so let's, let's just store them. Okay. We're gonna investigate this secret area. See what it holds. Let's what check for traps. It? Really? Not trapped? Seems odd. Oh <gasps> my god, man. How did I even avoid this? Okay, I'm gonna have to check the video because I don't think I went like this. Did I? And why did you spot it just now? Maybe I did do this. This was very lucky. <laughs> this was very lucky. There's something ahead. You failed this other trap? Really? This has got to be some nasty trap. Okay, let's just go around. Topaz. A girdle of Eoten constitution. This is actually good. I might give it to someone. Where there's a pick, there's a way. It's finished. Prayer against restraint. And some stuff for my stash. Arranged from top to bottom, these, bo these boxes boast increasingly intricate locks. A few broken lockpicks lie discarded on the shelves. A scattered pile of mechanical finger joints lies strewn across this desk. For 40 gold. There's a pick, there's a finished. Lock picks and money, lock picks and money. Hey. Okay, well the trap can just stay there. I could I could send it there to trigger it, but I'm afraid something bad's gonna happen. So let's just leave it. I think it's just a trap, it's not a container, so we can avoid it. 
But yeah, I'm gonna have to check the video afterwards when I finish the episode to see if I actually just accidentally dodged <laughs> the trap. Because that, that could have been bad. A burning flash construct with some unstable constructs. Okay. Uh, let's lure them in, paralyze them with a loth, and then just kill them. Wait, actually, do I have time to trigger the... Um... Well, I'll check it out next time, I think. Okay, so you buff. Uh, you have a job to do, which is Shadow Flame. Man, I don't understand. Sometimes the range of this seems so much larger than before. But do that. Go there. Uh, she can shoot this guy, and you can shoot this guy. Okay, so paralyzation worked. A good stun, work on him. Oh, she didn't stun. I'm gonna try with her. Do I have time to run away? I do. Okay, so... What's the range on this? The range is enormous. It hit over the... She was here and she hit him. Okay. Well, back up. Change of plans. Let's trigger this. And run away. Uh, hopefully she's gonna kill her friends. No, she doesn't. This guy is gonna be annoying, however. Uh, stun him. God damn it, stop disengaging me. Okay. Let's proc this one. Much for you. Back off. Man, it hit Kana. The range is insane. Okay, go for this one. I'm immune. Good. Because of triggered immunity. Is she gonna blow up? She is. Okay, but yeah, the range is very large. Very large radius. So much for you. Go, Dudens! Yeah. Okay. I shall be discreet. I think I'm just gonna start killing them like before. I see something. There's no point in risking taking this amount of damage. An iron console. Let me just check for traps over here. No traps. Hey. This will serve as a, a good enough choke point. You guys can move a little bit forward. We're gonna get a corrosive burst. Yeah, that's kind of okay. Stay there. Buff. Hey. Knock down. Shoot. Sap. Buff. And you buff and shoot, and that's all. Shoot him. Oh, come on, more of those? Ugh. Okay, but the plan. Oh, God, she's moving quickly. Uh, so I need a Shadow Flame there. Okay, good. And. These are the unstable ones, let's work on him and work on him. But we're gonna get an amplified wave here and some books to see if I can kill it very quickly. And you're gonna debuff them afterwards and you shoot her. Yeah, they take a lot of damage, so I think we're fine, honestly. Yeah, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. <clears throat> So much for you. Good. Shadow Flame, as always, proving to be an amazing spell. In my opinion, it, it's too good. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think it should exist. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe that's too much, but it is, it is ve a very, very good spell. I mean, incredibly good spell. There's Bitch. something ahead. Oh, come on. 
Okay, well, I don't want to leave this here. It can be dangerous. So let's do this. Um, 162 seconds. What? Okay. Well, level 15 difficulty, 360 XP. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna go over here and disarm this one as well. Quickly, please. This does not last forever. If I need it <laughs> later on, I'm gonna regret doing this this maneuver over here for some experience, but it's yeah, there's nothing over there. Okay, let's go back. Hmm? I still have a minute and a half, I think. Yeah, like a minute and a half. Let's turn Late off fast mode so that I can properly do this. There's an iron construct, an unstable construct. Let me just check for some more traps. Before I fight here. Seems to be clear. Let's just hope this guy doesn't spot me. I have escape anyway, but... Okay, so the, the buff is gonna go away. <laughs> but that was to be expected. Hey. Let's just pull with it there. Uh, I can actually do this first. Now that I remembered. So put it there. Mm. Lavaru beyond seek. Lavaru, yes. Come at me, bitch. He's coming in. Let's buff up. Oh, I gotta end the episode. I I, I wasn't noticing the time. Um, buff up, yeah, yeah. Hmm? Okay, so you and you can start shooting. What is it? My mind uh, are you buffed? You are buffed, you can also shoot her. So much for you. Borosain stunned. Knock her down. We can kill it. Right? Yeah, yeah we can. Okay, cool. Following your uh, I was expecting so more enemies you. coming in, but I guess I guess not. Ooh, this looks like a trapped area. And what I don't have any more scroll any more scrolls though. Crumpled experiment. This crumpled piece of parchment was found jammed inside the faceplate of a construct. My efforts to instill even a child's intelligence in these creations have all failed. Most cannot hold a quill, much less set thoughts to paper. I believed for some time that Subject 63 might have, a, might have had a breakthrough during its lessons, but I discovered that it has simply been repeating my words without comprehension. These were not enlightened characters while they wore their original skins. Perhaps their essence lacks a fundamental capacity for learning? I have put them to the test in more martial arts, but here too they falter without the benefit of true sentience. The devil, of course, delights in mocking them. It is like boasting of besting children at combat. If I only had my own old machines. Okay. Hey. So I gotta end the episode, but I... Kinda wanna explore the... Uh, no. Okay. There's several enemies, so it might take a bit. Okay. So in that case, I'm gonna have to end the episode here. <laughs> I would like to explore some more, but then I'm going to want to explore everything and yeah, I'll just leave it for the next one. Um, as always, my friends, thank you so much for being here with me in the channel, watching some Pillars of Eternity. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. There is videos coming out every single day and it's also a free and easy way to support the channel. I hope to see you all in the next episode and until then, stay safe everyone. Piggy. Hey.